Hi everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I will show you how to set units in AutoCAD. So to get more updates, please follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated with all new videos. So let's get started. So first of all, what is the meaning of unit in AutoCAD? So when you are working in AutoCAD, you have to work in a particular unit that is either you can work in imperial unit or metric unit. Now what is metric unit? Metric unit means you are working in kilometer, meter, centimeter and millimeter. Again what is imperial unit? Imperial unit means when you are working in feet and inches that is imperial unit. So in AutoCAD either you can work in metric unit or imperial unit. In AutoCAD you have to set unit two times. So first one is in which unit you are going to work that is drawing unit. And the second one is in which you will show the dimension that is dimension style manager. So let's see how to set the drawing unit first. So to set the drawing unit, use the shortcut key UN. UN is the shortcut key. You, you can see units here. Or now see drawing unit dialog box is open now. Now you, if you, you can also use instead of shortcut key, you can go to format. And here is the units. Click here, then drawing unit dialog boxes will open. But I usually prefer shortcut key that is UN enter. Now this is the drawing unit dialog box. Now in this box, first it's length and in length first we have to set the length type. Here in type there are five options, architectural, decimal, engineering, fractional and scientific. But we usually use architectural, engineering and decimal. So if you need to work in metric unit means in kilometer, meter, centimeter, millimeter then you have to select decimal or when you want to work in imperial unit you need to select architectural or engineering. For metric unit you have to select decimal, for imperial unit you have to select architectural and engineering so when you need to work in imperial unit that means feet and inches that time you have to choose architectural engineering again when you uh, choose architectural when engineering the answer is if you choose the architectural it will show the precision value in fraction you can see you can see the precision value in fra fraction so choose the engineering value to see the decimal value so here i need metric unit so i will choose decimal next this is precision so precision means in precision you have to select how many decimal places after point you need so here i will take two decimal places after point if you want round finger figure means you don't want any decimal places so take zero one decimal places take uh, 0 0.0, two decimal places take 0 0.00. So here I will take two decimal places. So decimal precision means here how many decimal places after point you want. Here I will take two decimal places 0 0.00. If you want round figure, you take 0. This is two decimal places I need. So 0 0.00. Next. This is the precision. Next is. You need to scale. Next here you need to scale. Here you have to select the unit. Always remember to select the minimum value unit. Or the small value. So in millimeter, centimeter, meter, uh, meter centimeter, millimeter, kilometer. In them, millimeter is the small unit, smallest unit. So, always select the minimum value. 
Now this is millimeter is the uh, minimum value. Now from feet and inches, inch is the small value, small unit. So always select the minimum value unit or the small unit. So decimal precision 0 0.00, uh, unit to scale is millimeter. Now simply click on OK. Click on OK. Now we have done this. Next go to dimension style manager. So shortcut key is D. Press enter. Now dimension style manager dialog box is open now. Here go to modify. Here you can see your dimension here. You can see here now click on modify. Now go to primary units. First go to primary units. Here unit format. We have decimal same unit you have to choose which you have select which you have selected while setting drawing unit. So decimal I have selected before. So here also you have to keep the same decimal. Next precision value 0 0.00. Now, now we have nothing to do here right now. So simply click on OK. Now set current. We have to click on set current. Set current means right now means currently i am going to use this unit so click on set current and close so we have done our unit setting so now i will uh, create a rectangle first go to unit format if you want to change engineering and uh, Precision value. I will show you if you want to change the is to imperial unit Change to inches Keep the small unit 0 feet 0 inch. I will keep 0 feet 0 feet and 0 inch Now Dimension style modify Here also we need to change engineering 0 feet 0 inch Click on OK and set current close. This you have to do if you want imperial unit. But I need metric unit. So again go to <coughs> unit setting sorry decimal 0 0.00 this millimeter. This is for metric unit. Click on OK. For dimension style manager de enter modify primary unit decimal two decimal places i need 0, 0.00 click on ok set current click on set current close so we have done so now i will create a rectangle here rec enter shortcut key so this is a rectangle now specify dimension here linear dimensional tag this is this side you can see and this side dimension now here you can see the dimension to see the dimension we need to zoom this so you can increase the dimension size so go to d enter modify this time go to text click on text increase the text height we have to increase the text height here this is 0 0.18 so I will keep it a 0, point, 0 0.8 I will keep or 0 0.5 as per your requirement 0 0.5 I will keep ok set current always remember to click on set current now close now see you can see the dimension property so increase the dimension height now if you want to modify these lines these are too long if you want to modify this again go to dimension style manager d enter modify now this time you can see the changes here modify 
this time go to this is height if you change this to 0.8 suppose 0.8 click on ok set current see it's increased so we don't need this so again modify go back to modify change this to 0.5 okay so you can see it's looking perfect click set current close again d enter go to dimension style manager d enter modify now go to symbol and arrows here you can change the arrow style you can change here if you will select this close plank you i have selected here now click on ok set current close see the arrow is changed now now again de enter modify so you can keep this one architectural stick click on ok set current close so we have changed this you can change as per your requirement you can see here now if you want to modify this line this is too long line again go to the enter modify this time arrow size also you can change go to lines this time go to lines now here you can see if you we'll click here the dimension one one line that one dimension line is showing here no dimension line is there so we need both the dimension lines so here, here you can see also now click here now see you can see the dimension like this click on ok set current now close now see we have changed so again de enter modify symbol and arrows change this to close field again now click on ok set current close so we have changed this undo this so you can do as for your requirement modify so if you click here we can't see the dimension line both side dimension lines okay click on ok set current always remember to click on set current now we cannot see those two side lines okay so you can modify your dimension lines as per your requirement from dimension style manager again go to dimension style manager modify now this time i will change to this now i change the arrow size also you can change here this i will uh, change 0.2 click on ok set current close so you can see we have changed this again modify lines uncheck this now increase this to zero point uh, two this uh, zero point five click on ok set current close now you can see now we can see the dimension properly so like this you can set unit also you can change your dimension and you can set your dimension style manager like this so hope you like the video if you find this video helpful then don't forget to like share and comment thank you for watching